Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice and this channel is called Alice's Life. This is a slightly strange angle. I'm sitting on the floor and I've kind of got my dirty washing down in the back corner. But you can try and ignore that. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing a cleaning haul. I am currently in the process of buying my first ever property. So for a bit of a backstory, I think the house has been empty for at least a year. It's a little bit manky like i suppose the fridge has got kind of manky cheese crumbs in and there's a weird piece of brown toilet paper stuck to the toilet and there's no water running upstairs uh, yeah basically it's just empty and so i've kind of gone a bit hardcore with the chemicals i think in the longer term i'd like to be one of those kind of people that just use it as like bicarbonate of soda and like white vinegar you know like all, all natural but anyway i've gone pretty hardcore with the chemicals and that's in part influenced by this mrs hinch Hint Yourself Happy book, which I recently got as a present from my mum a few months ago. But anyway, so there's loads of good recommendations in here, and it's a pretty good book if you're just starting out and you kind of want some top tips on what to buy for cleaning. So I've kind of split this video up into three sections. We're going to do like small cleaning products and utensils, then we're going to move on to chemicals, and then the third category will be like the big ticket items, by which I mean I've bought a mop. Anyway, so first of all, I would say the range is a really good location because they've got loads of like sort of big brands and it's fairly inexpensive. But anyway, I bought these minky heavy duty wash pads. I suppose they're just sponges. Anyway, so these were 90p. Basically just a standard sponge. I didn't want you know sometimes you get these like cheap sponges that are really thin. I think these are pretty good quality. So yeah, 90p from the range. And then I got some scourers. So these were one pound. 79 i haven't heard of that brand but yeah scourers and then i got these coconut koi scourers it's a three pack and this was 149 my sister's got something like that it's like the most disgusting thing so i'm not sure if i'm actually going to use this but it says scraped on but no, scraped off burnt food ideal for cleaning dishes and i think that this can be like putting your compost bin and it will naturally break down now moving on to microfiber cloths because i do like a microfiber cloth so doggies were doing these and they are three microfiber cleaning cloths for only three pounds and they're pretty good size nice colors all that for a pound which is pretty good because doggies can be expensive so i got two packs of those and then in primark they're the most beautiful microfiber cloths and they are 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters so they're actually a bit bigger than the doggies ones 100% polyester I just love the print because I don't know cleaning things can be a bit garish this is like so pretty I'll see if I can open it properly maybe I can't no it's all stuck together with um a little piece of plastic but there's like pink blue cream and then this really nice patterned one and that was only £1.50 in the Republic of Ireland I got like a minky dupe so Minky is a product that Mrs Hinch talks about a lot in her book and also on her Instagram. I mean this was three euros from a shop, a shop called US Style which worked out as about two pounds sixty six. So it's kind of got like a scurry, scoury side and then it's like a microfiber side. Never really used a product like this but I'll see how they get on. Here's the label for it. So it just says this clean and scrub microfiber pads. In Ikea I bought this lint roller for 75p thought well, that was a good thing to have in the house another thing from the range is this pack of 40 white clothes pegs and that was only 129 so i thought that was a good deal see how these last and then last but not least in this category is some extra life gloves and these are just basic ones from asda and they were one pound 50 and this is a size large because my hands are actually quite big okay now moving on to chemicals in sainsbury's i picked up this glade shake and rack fresh lemon product so the house is currently carpeted in both the bedrooms upstairs a small amount of landing and the stairs going up so i don't really want to hire a like proper professional cleaning vacuum thing so i thought this was kind of like the next best thing but the thing is it absolutely stinks of lemons i don't know like, and i think all these kind of products are going to be a bit stinky but yeah i might give that a go or might have to find a different scent in Adstar I picked up this for £1.75, it is a SIF floor cleaner and it is in the scent Ocean. I haven't taken off the lid to see how it smells but I think it will be okay. In the range I picked up this Mr Muscle um, Advanced Power 
window and glass spray. This is the kind of thing I use the whole time and it's kind of what I've grown up using and it's quite a big bottle, it's 750 millilitres whereas I think some of them are only 500 millilitres and that was one pound 99 i know you can get cheaper but i just thought good to stick for a brand i'm really looking forward to using this i'm going to clean all of the windows in the house and also the ones on the ground floor outside also from the range i picked up this very big bottle of easy washing up liquid it's one liter and it only cost one pound 25 so much cheaper than fairy so i'll see how i get all of this i might decant it into like a slightly prettier or like more aesthetic container for in the kitchen but yeah see how I get on with this because it's much better price than some other big name brands. bought this as a bathroom cleaner so it's by Astonish and I think most of their things if not all of them are vegan and it's the scent white jasmine and basil. I bought this just because it was only a pound. I do like the method products but they seem to be upwards of three pounds so I'll see how I get on with this. I was influenced by the Mrs Hinch book and I decided to buy a tumble dryer sheet. I do not have a tumble dryer and I'm not going to get a tumble dryer but apparently these are good for like dusting surfaces or like I don't know. Apparently it picks up dust. So 35 big sheets for £1.29 and this was from the range and it's 11%. I think they've got multiple uses. And they've got some Zoflora in the scent country garden. This is a product that Mrs Hinch talks about quite a lot. And that was £1.49 from the range. And you can have so it's very concentrated multi-purpose disinfectant and you can put like a little bit in and then top it of water and use it as a spray in your house. Now the pink stuff is a very well known cleaning product. I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to be using this for but I just thought it was only £1.49, not too bad. So it's a mild abrasive paste cleaner and you apply it with a soft cloth or a sponge. So yeah, I'll try using this, I think it's a good thing to have. It says the Miracle Cleaning Paste and then as I said earlier the toilet's got a little bit of a gross situation going on so I got some seriously thick bleach and this was 79p from the range so I thought that was a good price because it's basically just bleach so you don't really need to go for a big brand so I'll see how this gets on and then for kind of cleaning the taps and kind of lime scale and the shower and things I bought this and it's the Via Cal, which apparently is a good one and that was £2.49 so I'll see how this works and last but not least in this section is these Harpic Power Plus Active Tablets. So there's eight in this box and it costs £2.99 so a little bit pricey. So you kind of like put it in, you have to wear gloves when you take off the wrappers so it must be quite powerful. Leave it bobbling around in your toilet for 20 minutes and then you flush the toilet. Deep clean without scrubbing, removes 100% of li lime scale and it works in the U-bend. Oh, it says less results, leave six hours before flushing. Yeah, so I'll see how I get one of these just when I'm doing the deep cleaning in the house to start with, but I don't see myself using something like this on the regular. We're now moving on to the last section, which is basically just more cleaning tools or like things to do with cleaning. So I bought this from IKEA recently, and this is a octopus. It's even got little eyes on it, but like you hang it up, and then I think it's got maybe, I don't know how many legs it's got where you can like hang socks and pants and things from it so that was four pounds from ikea then i did a lot of shopping with donnell so i bought this broom and this cost four pounds i think it's the donnell own range so i like it because it's just, it's not yellow it's just like a basic white and black and it's got this silver handle and yeah oh it's the addis brand addis products are meant to be quite good so i bought this cotton mop also from the Nelm. so it comes with a free refill I know you can get like sort of like panel ones for mops but because the tiles in the conservatory have like routing that goes down I thought it would be best to have one with like tentacles I don't know what the technical term is like the strands a cotton mop with strands rather than like a sort of sponge mop which you push around so anyway so it's got two heads three year guarantee and that was £5, so I'm pleased with that. Then I bought a mop bucket, so this is the brand Villeld, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, this was £7, so basically a nice red bucket, and it's got a Super Moco Torsion Power Torsion Ringer that goes in clip on there. Anyway, so I decided quite a while ago that I wanted to get this brand mop bucket, and anyway, quite pleased with that. £7 from Donnell. And then the last thing in this haul is going to be my dustpan and brush. 
So I wanted to go into the shop to like feel up how they were. And I like this one because it's got like a little bit of a serrated edge at the side for cleaning your brush. But yeah, basically, that's kind of brush. It's also the Addis brand and it was in TK Maxx for £3.99. It was originally £4.99. Two year guarantee, so basic. Anyway, that's it for this video. In total, I spent, I think it's £54, which I think is not too bad because I've got, I'm currently surrounded by stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and bye.